Hi, Room 10. Bernice and I are here, and it is story time. Hello. Duncan. Yes. What are you doing here? I am here because today's story is about dragons. Yes, Duncan. You are correct. Of course I'm correct. Uh, Duncan, would you like to introduce today's story? Sure. Today's story is Dragons Love Tacos to the sequel. Duncan is absolutely correct, of course. Stop. Um, would you like to stay and listen to the story? Yes, I would. Would you like to sit next to Bernice over here? Yes, I would. Okay, you do that. So, Duncan and Bernice are going to hang out over here while we read our story. It is by Adam Rubin and Daniel Salmieri. Hey kid, why are all your dragon friends crying? They look so sad. Oh no, look at this. It says, no more tacos. World in shock. Emergency supplies depleted. <gasps> taco scientists baffled. Congress deadlocked on taco issue. Oh my, we've got to do something about this. Listen to me, dragons. Don't freak out. No wonder they're upset. Dragons love tacos. Remember that time we had an awesome taco party with dragons? There were so many tacos. Pence loads of tacos. Big tacos, little tacos, beef tacos, chicken tacos. And because of a totally honest mistake, I'm not blaming anyone here, there were also some uh, spicy tacos. Unfortunately, spicy salsa gives dragons the tummy troubles. And when dragons get the tummy troubles, well, you know. Uh, but now, there are no more tacos. None. Nada. Nil. If only we could somehow go back in time to our delicious taco party uh, before the spicy salsa, of course. We could save a handful of tacos, plant them in the ground, and grow taco trees. So we never run out of tacos again. Dragons would be so happy. Well, I know you're not supposed to mess with it, but this does seem like the perfect opportunity to fire up that time machine in the garage. A time machine lets you travel through time. Back to the past, when you were an itty bitty baby, or forward to the future, when you're grown to be an old man. Or in our case, back to the taco party full of tacos. You know what? Let's strap into this gizmo and give it a whirl. Set the dial to taco party. Ready, set, zam. Hey, that's you from before. Weird. Well, there are plenty of tacos here. Let's just grab some and head back before the dragons eat any spicy. Uh-oh. Crunch. 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 Yikes. I sure hope this time machine still works. I give the dial a little twist. We'll have to go a bit further back this time before the dragons eat any spicy salsa. It's important. It's dragons eat spicy salsa, so they're going back a little bit further. Ready, set, zam. Hmm, we may have gone back a bit too far. Crunch, crunch. Crunch. Oh boy, not again. Mm -hmm. 
this time machine has seen better days. Try some machine oil. That might do the trick. Wait a second. That's not machine oil. This may complicate our journey through time space. It says machine oil, brand salsa, extra super duper spicy. Zork. Dragons love diapers. That's not right. Let's try again. Tacos love dragons. Weird, but closer. One more time. Zam. <gasps> dragons love tacos. That's it. Dragons, quick, grab some tacos and let's get out of here before it's too late. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Zam. <gasps> we made it. Congratulations. <gasps> oh, come on. We were eating them. <gasps> you saved one. Phew. We'll plant a tree and have tacos forever. The dragons will be so happy. After all, dragons love diapers. I mean tacos, dragons love tacos. Heck, everyone loves tacos. And that is the end of our story for today. Bernice and Duncan and I are here to say bye and we will see you next time. La la.